Hi, I'm Josh with Dyna, and today I'm going to show you how to import data to complete a mail merge in our new software, Dymo Connect for Desktop. To download our software, go to www.dymo.com slash en dash us slash online dash support. Now let's get started. Now I'm going to show you three ways to import data to complete a mail merge. First, make sure you have a text box in your, the middle of your label in order to drop the pills later on. Then click the import data tab. First, I'm going to show you how to use Google Contacts. Click on the Google Contacts button and it'll open up to your Gmail account where you'll be prompted to sign in. Make sure you click allow so that all of your data gets imported correctly. Now I'm going to show you how to import data using Microsoft Outlook. Click the purple import data tab again, click Outlook contacts, and you'll be prompted to sign in to your Microsoft account. Now I'm going to show you how to import data using an Excel workbook. Click the Import Data tab, browse your files. I'm going to use my sample address data. Now all of your data should be in the list. I'm going to use my first row as the column header by clicking the button as seen here. If you don't want to use any of your data, you can just simply unclick and their data will not be put into your files. Now that you've imported your data correctly, you'll be brought to the design page. First, you'll take your first piece of data and drop it into the chart as seen below. Now you can get rid of the rest of the text in order to complete the rest of your label. You can use your keyboard functions as usual. Now I'm gonna drop in my address on the second tab. and then your city, your state, and then finally the zip code. If you wanna see all of your different labels, simply click on the arrows to scroll through the different lists. If you wanna look at your data table, you can click here and your data will appear and you can simply click it again to get rid of it. If you want to add a picture or clip art onto it, go back to your design page, click add an image, move it to where you'd like and resize it. And then I'm going to add an envelope by clicking on the clip art tab. Now you have successfully merged your data and you're ready to print. If you want to print more than one copy of each label, simply go into settings and change it to two copies. If you want to change the range, since you have the nine down here, you can switch to here as you would printing any other data. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or need additional information or support, please go to www.dymo.com.